Chioma Ajunwa gets three bedroom flat promised her 25 years ago when she became the first Nigerian to win gold at the Olympic Games. Super Eagles winning team of 1994 Africa Cup of Nations also get their own flats promised them 27 years ago when they won gold. Also coming up on The Breakfast, on the continuous voter registration that will begin on Monday all over Nigeria, we'll be talking to the resident, in INEC resident electoral commissioner, Mike Igini. Hello and welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Aneta Felix. The Lagos State Police Command has arrested a lady for allegedly killing the Chief Executive Officer of Super TV, Usifo Utaga. 21-year-old Chidi Madora was paraded at the Police Command headquarters in Lagos yesterday. She had this to say. Yes, it was stopping me. That's how we went. What we about? He was stopping me. We even locked the door. I, it was really cute. We locked the door. I didn't know where it kept the key. So I, when I get to the door, it would draw me back. And that, that was what happened. The, the first one was both. The first one was twice. The first one the first one on, on the next side. That was the first one. And then when when I stabbed him the, the first one twice, I threw the knife on the bed. Then he was going for it while I went for it. So while I laid on the bed, that's when it came on me to, to hold the knife. And that's when I managed to stab him with the knife. And then, and then when he dragged the knife on me, he managed to slice my hand. And then as he was holding it, the knife broke. So it slipped off from his hand. I still managed to help, help him. But then it was now weak. And then it fell on the floor. That was 21-year-old Chidima Hadora Ojuku, a 300-level student of mass communication at the University of Lagos, basically, basically confessing uh, to journalists how that murder happened. This story really shocked the whole of Nigeria. CEO of Super TV, a young man whom you know most people admire, he basically is a key stakeholder in media and communications in Nigeria, an employer of labor, and all of that great stuff, only to hear of his death. Uh, just a few days ago and that it had been committed by Chidema. Um, to be honest, this story baffles people on so many levels because first of all, they talk about, you know, the shame this has cost to the family. This is someone who is married, he has children and, you know, the fact that the knowledge of the illicit affair he was having, you know, turned out to be disgraceful, you know, leading to, to his death. So the police are still investigating this, but she's confessed so far. Um, other videos we saw, um, we saw the uh, Chirima being taken in a police uh, vehicle away. Uh, maybe she'll be charged to court soon enough and we'll find out the end of that story. But much really is still left to be seen because the police is saying there is definitely no way that a 21-year-old would have committed murder without accomplices. You know, they've also arrested the owner of the shortlet home because apparently they had, you know, Chidima and Mr. Osifo had, you know, um, taken up an Airbnb, uh, it's a shortlet home in Lekki, phase one in Lagos, Nigeria, you know, where they had stayed and where that accident occurred. So she also confessed, you know, um, to newsmen that when she murdered him, when she stabbed him, she took his ATM, uh, went his ATM card went to an ATM machine and withdrew over 300,000 naira from his accounts. Then she went home. Then the police in the investigation said, uh, you know, they traced, they traced the, 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 the murder incident to her house as she stays around Alago Meji. And that's when she was apprehended. 
she had taken, that's Chidi Manawa, had taken the murder weapon, the, the knife, the kitchen knife to her house. She had dumped it in a bin. She had also uh, discarded the, the clothes she had worn that was stained in blood. So the police found all that evidence, you know, and arrested her, you know, where her parents lived. She lived with her parents and... You know, the story is just, just has a lot of twists and turns. She had told her family uh, when she left to stay with Mr. Osifo that she was going to take him up an ushering job. She had met him th four to five months prior. They had been introduced by a friend. So really, the story still has, you know, much left to be unraveled. And our second top trending story today, President Mohamed Buhari will once again be traveling to the United Kingdom for medical checkup. Now, a statement from his special advisor, on media and publicity, Femi Additional says the president will proceed to London today, Friday, June 25th, for a scheduled medical follow-up, and he's due back in the country during the second week of July. Now, the president uh, last traveled to London for medical checkup in March. Um, we know about the president and his routine visits to London. This has been a subject of controversy ever since the president, uh, you know, took over office. And uh, we've been talking about how, first of all, the illness, the nature of the illness has been undisclosed. You know, many Nigerians have expressed worry as to what exactly is the challenge, you know, with, with the president's health. You know, other angles that also come up with this particular uh, story about the president's routine visit to London is basically about the quality of healthcare in Nigeria and medical tourism. So we know basically about how when the president came into power, there were talks about medical tourism and how really that shouldn't be encouraged. But we've seen time and time again, the president jetting off to the UK to get medical help. And, you know, still brings the conversation back home, talking about the underfunding of Nigeria's healthcare sector, talking about how, you know, Nigeria's hospitals, our healthcare infrastructure are basically depleted, lack of medical facilities. We've had doctors here on The Breakfast talk about how, you know, we lack basic equipment. You know, we shared a story here on The Breakfast as well of a an operation that was going on in a theater. And basically the doctors were using, you know, just a touch light of a phone that really didn't didn't tell a very good story about a country that is supposedly rich in natural resources uh, you would politicians basically getting jumbo pay and huge salaries but really that's what it is the president is living the country today friday june 25th 2021 and uh, his media aide has said he would return to the country in about the first week of july and that's it for top trending stories today we'll take a break and return to join our guests to analyze the trending stories and and the headlines in Nigeria on Off the Press. Stay with us.